Sharknado 2, the second one, is a sequel to Sharknado. Because we all wanted that. Same cast, except for the girl who plays that character Nova from the first movie. And actually, kind of a different cast, whatever. There's some new people in it. And it's kind of basically the same movie this first one was, only it's in New York now. And to be honest, I actually like this one more. Yeah, I feel this one does the so bad it's good thing better, to be perfectly honest. Because the first one, it was kind of just bumpy. Like, they had a little bit of shark stuff in the beginning, then they kind of dwindled down. It rose a little bit in the middle, and eventually just got all that big stuff at the end, which was my favorite part. But this one, it really starts out with a lot of shark stuff, kind of dwindles, but eventually the ending thing is a lot longer, I feel. And because of that... You know, in addition to stuff that feels way more over the top and insane and fun stuff, I think this one is better. Like, you know, it starts off, they're on an airplane, they go into New York, and then suddenly the Sharknado, they hit by some sharks and then they gotta make an emergency landing and people die and blood stuff. Like, the deaths this time are way more over the top and I was laughing a lot more this time, I'll say that. Like, the first one, meh, not really. This one, a lot funnier, I find. And, you know, there's more characters that you don't care about, though. Like, there's a whole bunch of characters and you don't care about them. Like, again, they should, for massive, for the best, so bad it's a good thing, they should have just been stereotypes that you really wanted to die. And these guys, you know, I kind of predicted that they would die. Like, I found this movie pretty predictable. Like, I predicted, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. And most of the time, they did. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I found it pretty predictable. And, uh, acting is not much more better. And the thing is, I mentioned in the first movie that they try to do some character development in actual, like, heartfelt emotional moments in that one. They do it a lot more this time, and I have no idea why, because I don't care about any of these characters. I just want to see some sharks and tornado blow up disaster stuff that's all supposed to be funny. And they throw that stuff in that. I don't know why, because it's not funny. No, it's not funny. Yeah, it's not funny, nor is it compelling in any way. Because don't do it in a movie called Sharknado 2, the second one. Just, no. No. Know what kind of movie you're making, and only throw in the stuff that should be there. Like, you know, the sharks and the tornadoes and stuff, and throwing bombs into them? That should be in the movie. That's good. But characters you really don't care about, discussing some important issues from their past and their love lives? No. <laughs> Unless it's they're, like, stupid or oblivious or stereotypes or just having the worst dialogue ever, and while they're, like, getting hit by sharks, then yeah, that's fine. But, it, no, they really try to make it... I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm kind of done with that for now, but, you know, and it takes place in New York, I live in New York, you know, so maybe it has that going for it, I don't know, I mean, I find the new setting for taking on the shark now is kind of cool, I guess, since, you know, buildings and stuff, and the Statue of Liberty's head gets taken up, and it rolls down an alley and stuff, and it's pretty nuts, as I mentioned, the deaths are more over the top, and it makes the movie funnier for me, and there's just more sharks in this one, that make it funnier for me. Like, I find that this is an unpopular opinion, and most people like the first one better. I think this one is funnier. However, again, the emotional moments do kind of take out of it. And I kind of found that while the original Sharknado was kind of boringish, then great, fun, this one is like greatish, then kind of meh, I don't really care, then fun, great stuff again. <laughs> My arms represent how great stuff is. <laughs> Yeah, and just kind of the middle scenes as parts of this movie kind of got repetitive. And yeah, the ending fight stuff with the sharks did kind of get repetitive in the end. So, you know, that's kind of a problem. But, you know, some parts were still funny, like April's hand gets bitten off by a shark. And later on, she puts a circular saw blade. She gets like a circular saw blade for, a, for like a hand. That's pretty nuts. And, you know, they actually import a chainsaw from like New Jersey for Finn to use and it's pretty cool. I gotta say, it's still pretty fun watching him chainsaw a shark in the app. That is still pretty nuts, I gotta say. And once again, another thing I like about this movie more is that it cuts back on the awful CGI. Like, it's still there, you see, you see the awful CGI sharks, but it's there's nowhere near as many as the first one. Because, you know, it knows that it's bad, and it kind of feel like it knew they were distracting, so it kind of just cuts back on them, so, you know. And when they are there, it's a lot funnier, because again, the stuff they have to do is pretty ridiculous now, like, it's pretty nuts, I won't give them too much away. And, like, the first shark, you know, there's this moment at the end where it's, like, this conveniently the same shark stuff, you, you might know if you saw it, and when I saw it, I was like, 
that's even more ridiculous than the first movie. It really is, honestly, what they do with it, but, you know, I won't really say a whole lot else besides that, you know. It, you know, if you saw the first Sharknado movie, you don't really have to see this one if you don't really like that one in particular. But, you know, any Sharknado fans will like this one. I personally think it's better because it's funnier and I'm not going to watch it again. I don't have plans to, but it at least gave me a little better of a time than the first one. But again, I find that when you're unintentionally funny, it's funnier than so bad it's good in, on purpose, to be honest. And, you know, that's kind of a thing I have. This movie was slightly more entertaining, but still kind of eh. And, you know, again, some of the things I mentioned before that kind of take out of it, you don't care about the characters, and it actually tries to be human with these moments and have compelling characters. It's predictable. You would expect that from a GZB movie like this, I guess, but I don't know. It's kind of distracting. I'm judging it once again as it is. It's better, but at the same time, eh, it's pretty much the same movie as the first one. It's really just a matter of choice in which one you prefer, so I don't really need to talk about this any longer. And yeah, Sharknado 2, it's not really that much different, so I'm not going to give it that different of a score. I'm going to give Sharknado 2, the second one, a 55%, because I think this one's a little better. Uh, you know, my opinion, whatever. Still not good as a movie, and it's still not perfect, so bad it's good. But, you know, to each their own, and thank you all for watching. And I'm going to be watching Sharknado 3 when it airs on Sci-Fi, and then reviewing it. Because yay me, I love myself. Oh, well. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Adios, home slices.